It's Wednesday, December 11th here in Seoul, and this is your daily news from Korea Now. I'm Debbie Wan. The U.S. Congress has agreed on a bill that restricts any drawdown of American troops in South Korea. The legislation's final conference report showed Tuesday that the House and the Senate Armed Services Committees agreed on the final version of the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2020, which authorizes funding for the Department of Defense. The bill restricts any use of the funds for reducing the number of U.S. troops in South Korea to a level below the current 28,500 unless the U.S. Defense Secretary certifies that it's in the interest of U.S. national security. The bill also calls for a sweeping approach to North Korea's weapons development and puts additional sanctions on banks that deal with North Korea. The proposed NDAA must pass both the House and the Senate and be signed by President Trump before it can be enacted into law. Police have referred BTS's youngest member Jungkook to prosecutors on Tuesday for a possible indictment over a car accident in October. The Yongsan police station in charge of Jungkook's case said it has asked the prosecution to lay formal charges of violating the Road Traffic Act and other related laws against a K-pop star. Back in October, Jungkook was involved in a minor car accident where his car rammed into a taxi in Seoul's Hanam area. He tested negative for alcohol and was later questioned by the police. Although Jungkook and the taxi driver have settled the case, the police said it decided to ask for a legal indictment against Jungkook because of the serious negligence involved in the accident. South Korean football coach Park Hang-seo have led Vietnam's under-22 men's team to win their first-ever gold medal at the Southeast Asian Games. Vietnam's Golden Dragons beat Indonesia 3-0 at the SEA final match in Manila on Tuesday. Its star player Dong Ban Hao scored two goals in the game, with another one scored by Do Hong Dong. Tuesday's victory marked Vietnam's first-ever gold in men's football throughout the 60-year history of Southeast Asian Games. And under Coach Park's leadership, Vietnam was also able to enter the finals at the SEA for the first time in 10 years. And those are your top stories for today. For full-length articles, you can check out our official website, link down below. As always, don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.